Shire. John Vernon, remember? He saved me from the drowners. It was Coppolis then. Now, why, my purse is bursting. Mm hmm. With coin that belonged to the refugees. Vengeance tastes sweet. I thought you'd come for your reward. I'll gladly pay, mind you. You saved my life, no two ways about it. But if you're looking for a bruising, well, you'll find it. Should have left you there, tied up right at the water's edge. Well, you can't turn back time. But I'm willing to see to it your conscience don't torment you long. Get him! Pathetic. Greetings, Witcher. Hear about the White Lady. As I hoped. I notice it's been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. So the White Lady haunts your fields? True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folks say she's made her home there. Miko and his band, who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good for nothings all. They drained a few pints and decided they'd all plough the White Lady. Maybe then she'd bugger off. Romantics? Hmm. Seems the White Lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk are afraid to bury him. So, will you save us from her? White Lady can wait. Let's talk about my pay first. Hmm. It's too much. Come down a ways and we might agree. Hmm. It's too much. Come down a ways and we might agree. Hmm. It's too much. Come down a ways and we might agree. Hmm. It's too much. Come down a ways and we might agree. Hmm. It's too much. Come down a ways and we might agree. Hmm. It's too much. Come down a ways and we might agree. Oh, so be it. I can toss in that bit. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Using more effective means than brave Miko. Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Hard-headed men. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. Expected to see four bodies. Deep uneven tracks. Someone fled blindly, in a panic. I'll explore the tower. Blood trail leads to the cellar. Dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. All the signs point to a new wraith. She's avoiding me. Better find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Come on! Greetings, Witcher. 
Greetings, Witcher. Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means... Gods, poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it. Bury it, even. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. Oh yeah. Noon wraiths never come out after dusk. Witcher. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. Hello, long ears. You paid the tax. Tax? On what? Oh, 
Come on, Roach. Greetings, Your Honor. Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Eternal Is there a land where we find more of your kind? Come on. How are we to fight a pestilence that changes form? None. Slow now. Gonna be sick. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. Dudu hasn't met the same fate. By the stenches and tongues. Have you seen the new waitress in? Oh, thank you, pardon. sorcerers who lived here. We're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gorge cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. Oh, I've a scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you've got to get there through the sewers, but you've got to enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves got to pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menga himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menga. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, well, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerous bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers. Majors of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad.
You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Herbs? Roots? Just turned to healing? Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Triss's. Never knew her to drop them on the floor. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Paul? You lame? No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough adult. Like this long, adult. Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's adult. There, showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. Healthy as a horse, as far as I can tell. Priests of look, medics, herbalists, all claimed I'm bewildered. Well, they're wrong. That's little either way. Both are generous to me. They enjoy watching me point like this. There, there. You're happy. That's what counts. I am. When folk ask me the way, I like that most, because I can point. Like this. There. Ah. Because I know my way around the city. Oh, do I ever. So you gotta know where the Putrid Grove is, right? I certainly do. It's where I live. Over the, uh, there. There. That way. That away. Meaning where? In Lace Halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course, unless he forgets to say the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then, but that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrowed piglets, see? Thanks for your help. Eternal fire protects us, gives monsters the shit. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Old Sow's Pharaoh Piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. See how one eye in the middle. 
picked him as rain. Thank you, my lord. A right miracle you've worked. I'd like to repay you. Convince those knaves on the city council that spells are not needed on a whim, but positively indispensable. They won't listen, my lord. They're scared of Menga. In that case, please convey that if any of them should fall ill, he can stick his head in the flames of the eternal fire. Now, permit me some rest. Mum, you put a man! So, how are things? Good. More and more people come to our secret clinics looking for help. Menga's hound's not scaring them off anymore. I guess incurable disease is more terrifying than torture. In that case, I'll count on more tribute coming in. You already take 80% of what we receive. Aye, but don't forget it's me who secures the nooks and crannies where you and yours can hide. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This here's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine, and me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, that. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted something very dear to her and had to start a new <laughs> Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. 
I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? What's your hair lately? those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you, looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Clue. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believed me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. It was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn it, went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. on this wall that'll open the secret passage. Free city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. It seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my packet. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. What? Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Oh. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? 
By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price? We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works? Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Mm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary. Near anything that looks rat-related. I met you, mate. Back there at Loch Muin. <laughs> I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. A master monster slayer in the world's largest city, looking for rat shit. Jeez. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. Who's Yen? yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Our lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working. 
The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. For you, we need to find Brandon. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live, and pay us double. Now. <laughs> Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. We should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my store. All right, so what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat. But a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. That much? Surely jest, sir. Time is coin, Master Witcher, and you waste it. Squander it, sir. Take what I offer, or I shall find another to do the work. Relax, I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. 
Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Same shit as always. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Went this way. Dropped down into the moat. Trail ends here. Damn it! Can't hear a blasted thing! Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? Doors wide open. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. A Doppler. Explains a lot. And complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes. But only one bed. Lavender. Strong scent. Enough to track him down. That's all I have. Asks me most about I love Red too, but I dropped it. Decided not to go back. Wise choice. Stairs too high. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! <sighs> really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? be able to look like a witcher. That won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. Oh no. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. Convinced the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one, or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more, and I'll not do business with you again. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. 
I could talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he... Uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. I was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks, so long. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? And here, ought to look for prints on the other side. Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in them. Gotta be an Ekimara. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant, who turned out to be a forest troll, and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off! Before I lose my temper! Where's Yad Carradin? 
asking you for the last time. Guards, to the dungeon with them. Guy's more trouble than the Akimara. The Karadins disappeared. I swear. The others too. I, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah. See you later. Get up. What do you want? Nim's mugs. Rosten mugs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? Our business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get him back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. What's he doing here? Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. He lost, demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. How much are they worth to you? Well, I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of arsewipe. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. Played cards for them once. Care to play again? Hmm. You're clearly in the middle of a lucky streak. Could very well continue. You might be right. Let's play.
take the damn things. Let none say I ain't an honest man. Gods know I'll only ever say kind things about you. Well? Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. Well, like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. What was it to do? He weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. All right, high time you explained some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, hey, fucking Larius. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill him. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden, murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now, let's go. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you only Hammond or Slings to talk to you then. This Salise, where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Who suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Salise always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Carradine's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Squiatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Salise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Salise. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Stand and fight! Hey there. You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow around here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lesson! Come on! You know, I yield. Had enough? Yes, but next time... Challenge me again, raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. You shall die for what you've done. I've done nothing. G gentlemen, I beg you. What's this about? This Dwan sold Fistek to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, poisoner. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. 
Don't see any proof this man sold anyone Fistech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgen. Shame you happened on our path, and chose to stand in our way. Let's dance. Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this, a sign of my gratitude. Help! Help! What happened, kid? <laughs> they... they... <laughs> hey, wait! Rain again. Damn, ladies. The great git! Grab him! Show him up! Go! Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Truth is, we're already dependent on the black bubbles, economically. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Stop. Go away. Don't. Leave it.
Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Sarah, you might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big end chases me. Ben's got these reds. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! See, now I want to do this the nice way, but you just won't let me. What will you do to me, eh? 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 Burdock. Godlings hate the scent. How would you like a whiff? You're stupid and a pig! A good one to you, young man. Hair's all a grey, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's Hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains, but just a handful and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. You just might have the herbs I need.
take care. <laughs> you pig! Trying to suffocate me! You oaf! <laughs> you dog! <laughs> Someone will do the same to you one day! <laughs> take this stupid ass! You bird hocking bully! Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Burned some burdock in the stove. Godling couldn't stand the smell and fled. And Corrine simply awoke. Anyway, house is clean. Excellent. I must admit the experience has put me off the building. I shan't keep it. I'm mindful of the reward I owe you, and you'll receive a sizable commission. As soon as I'm... I'm able to sell the house. Come by from time to time and ask. The, the Yonkiers never break their word once given. Thanks.